the bar. Today we are going to be looking at this new E and B Labs espresso brewing basket. So this basket is designed. This is a super fine IMS basket. Uh, this is specifically designed for darker roasted coffee, which I am using. I'm using Mexican Chiapas from Good Brothers. So shout out to Brent from Good Brothers um, for supplying these beans as well. Uh, so pretty much this basket is used to pretty much slow down the shot. So if you can see that, it's a super fine basket. It's for IMS. Uh, right now I do have the stock basket in and I'm gonna show you guys a shot on the stock and then I'm going to switch to the super fine. Um, the reason behind this is when you're using a darker roast, they say to use a flat burr grinder so that a way that you get more of the nutty tasting notes from your espresso. Also, they wanna use a super fine shot because darker roasts are a bit more uh, darker roasts are a bit more, um, I guess you can say, easy to dial in as opposed to lighter roasts, but this super fine is going to uh, slow it down quite a bit, at least it's supposed to. So we're going to try to dial this in about, I want 22 to about 28 seconds. I'm going to do about a five second pre-infusion, and then we're going to see if there's any channeling, and then see how fast the shot comes out, and then we're going to test it and do the exact same dosage with this. They are both rated for 20 grams, so we are going to test that out. So here we go. I'm just gonna show you guys the actual basket itself. Uh, I did already pre-open it with, a, with scissors, so that way I wasn't struggling on live. But here it is. I know it's really hard to see, but it's extremely fine. So you're gonna notice that um, all these little holes are really fine compared to let me rinse this out it's been just sitting in here cooling off so I'll kind of bring you down here so here is the stock basket this thing is super hot so i'll try my best to hold it but if you see the inside of these this is the new ims super fine basket and this is the stock basket so we are going to compare the two and see if this IMS is actually worth the money. So this is, I believe, around 30, 40 bucks. Uh, this one comes with the unit itself, which is about $1,700, $1,800. But we're going to uh, test these out. So I'll, I will go ahead and put the stock basket back in, just because obviously I want to keep everything stocked so that way you guys can see the results between the two. But I will set this aside for right now. Uh, I'll set this up here for right now until we get to that. So here we go. Just gonna go ahead and set you guys up over here so you guys have a better view. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. It's nice to have you guys. So here we go. So pretty much all we're gonna do is just regular we're gonna dose out 20 grams. We are using Good Brothers coffee. Uh, so if you see, this is a darker roasted coffee. It's like a medium to dark, which is why we're using the super fine basket. So I do wanna shout out to Very Barista for sending me these baskets for review. Um, he also wants me to test out, I'll show you guys here, give you a little sneak peek of a video to come, which is going to be this 20 gram NTH26 basket. It's also by uh, EMB Brew Labs. And this is also an IMS screen, which is nano coated as well. And this is more for your lighter roasts. And I will get to that in the next video. So again, thank you so much to Very Barista for sending me these baskets to review. He did inform me to use a darker roasted with the super fine, which we are going to do today. And then I'll use a lighter roasted brew when I do the other one. So when is the new Eureka single doser due in Dylan? Um, well, that one is hopefully they, by the end of December. I'm not really sure. I was hoping before, but because of delays, I'm not really sure. Hopefully soon though. All right, so if you guys would like to support the channel, uh, there are super chats and super stickers available. Um, also, if you guys hit that like button, it helps the channel way more than you guys know. All the proceeds will go to new equipment to review for you guys. 
Uh, I do have an eye on a couple things that I would like to purchase for the channel to show you. And uh, I think it'd be fun for experimentation. So this is the new dosing collar. Um, I will put a link down below. Definitely use this, it's for your DF64 and it works absolutely amazing. I'm just going to zoom in on that so you guys can see. I mean, it works extremely well. Don't have to worry about over spillage of beans anymore. So welcome, welcome to the channel all. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys have not already, make sure to thumbs up as that really, really helps the channel grow and it helps me make more content for you guys. All right, so let me go ahead and zoom back out. Take this. Uh, I like to just kind of shift it in the basket, get a little WDT. I will do the same process for both, so that way they're both pretty accurate. And then I like to take this one more time just to fluff it up around the sides. Try to create that, uh, or try to get rid of that side channeling. And then today I'm gonna be using the uh, block party from uh, St. Anthony, and then I have both the distribution tool and the tamping tool on um, the block to use for the pre preparation of the puck. Definitely have been enjoying these two products. All right, so as you see, nice clean puck. And then I will try to get you guys a better view down here. So thank you so much, Kelly, for the super chat. It really means a lot to me to support the channel. Like I said, every single donation that I get from the video is gonna go straight to new products to review for you guys. Um, a new grinder is also going to be coming to the channel as well. So pretty excited for that. Super, super. Again, thank you so much, Kelly, for the super chat. It really, really means a lot. Thank you. All right. So this should be a pretty good view here. All right. Let me go ahead and lighten that up a little bit so you guys can see. Perfect. All right, so this is a heat exchanger, so you do have to release some of the steam because right now the water that you're gonna see coming out of the brew head is way too hot to brew espresso. It's gonna scold it, so you wanna kinda release all that steam. So you're gonna see all that steam coming out. So obviously I like to run it a little bit first. Come back down to pre-infusion, turn it off, let it drip for a second, and then you're good to lock it in. So. You do have to somewhat temperature surf. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Just make sure you get rid of that steam that's sitting in the, um, in the group because that's gonna be what you don't want for your shot. So we're gonna do a five second pre-infusion for both. So go ahead and set this underneath. All right, so five second pre-infusion to make it fair. And then here we go. So we might see some splatter, but I want to compare a true test based on the two. Okay, so okay, so there you see, this is pretty freshly roasted coffee. I just opened the bag not that long ago, but that came out 41.4 grams in 24 seconds. So the shot didn't look awful. You saw that big donut coming out, uh, which is when you get a lot of espresso coming out from the side of the basket. And that's from the CO2 still releasing from the bean, which is going to allow for that shot to look like that. So that's pretty much normal when you do have a freshly roasted bean that you're dialing in. I really have to invest in a new tripod for the channel so I don't have to keep doing this because this is a bit annoying to have to adjust this every single time for you guys, but have to do what I have to do for the channel. All right. So let me just go ahead and give this a taste test for you guys. So the shot looks really, really good. If you guys can see that, shot looks really good. Uh, I am just gonna go ahead and stir it a little bit, so. Put 
Put that down. Cheers. Give it a little taste test for you guys. So really nutty, really good flavor to it. Like I said, the shot you're gonna see, um, there was a ton of CO2 that's still releasing from the beans. They were actually stored in the freezer and they de-thawed over the last two days. Just opened the bag today, um, just put them in my fellow Atmos for the video. So uh, definitely needs to kind of just sit there a little bit longer, probably another couple days before you actually get really nice shots out of it. But shot timing was really good. Um, there wasn't a ton of channeling, just all that CO2 releasing. Shot was very, very good. Yeah, really, really good. Um, I am not gonna waste this, but I have to cut down on my caffeine intake because uh, yeah, just have to. So uh, I'm going to put this aside. I'm not gonna waste it, so please don't cringe. I will use this. I'll make my wife another drink out of that for tomorrow. But I'm gonna go ahead and prep the, for the next shot. So here's my really old camera that I'm trying to use for my edited videos. Uh, would really, really love to upgrade that, but the cameras that are upgraded to that are like 2000 and I do not have that. So um, unfortunately, that probably won't come to the channel until like next year or so, but I'm really, really hoping to get better quality videos for you guys and kind of take some classes to learn photography and for video editing and stuff. So that way I give you guys the most uh, polished and good videos that I can possibly give you guys. Cause I want this to be, um, this and running my espresso trailer to be my main job. So hopefully soon that will be the case. So my wife is gonna be reading some of your comments here. That's me. <laughs> they can't really hear you though cause I have the mic on. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna change this basket out and then we are going to replace that now with the new super fine basket and we're gonna just see if there is a huge difference. Again, I'm gonna keep the 20 grams just like the other and then we are also going to be doing the exact same thing with the WDT, fluffing it out, distributing it, tamping it, just so we can stay as consistent as possible. To answer the question, is this super fine basket for medium to darker roast truly, truly worth it? And like I said, this is the first time I've used this basket, it's still really cold. And um, yeah, let's just see if it's good. So we're just gonna set this in here and then run some hot water on it because like I said, we wanna be as consistent as possible. So we wanna make sure it's nice and hot and up to temperature like the other basket was. So that way everything's nice and hot. You want everything to be nice and hot before you pull a shot because that's going to give you the best extraction as possible. Still working on this setup. So I actually am reviewing this uh, machine. This is the Quick Mill Anita Evo. Uh, it's a heat exchanger. This was actually sent to me to review on the channel by Joe from Espresso Outlet. So again, huge shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet. He also sent me this grinder to review on the channel as well. So really, really appreciate it. Without Joe, this video would not be possible. So again, if you guys can, down in the comments below, thank Joe from Espresso Outlet. Even with any of your espresso needs, if you now have any kind of machines or equipment that you would like to buy, make sure to check out his website. He is from Michigan, I believe, um, and it's a family-owned company. So definitely make sure to check it out and support him. So again, thank you so much, Joe, for that. All right, so we're gonna lock this in there while we get ready for our next shot here. So we're gonna use the DS64 cup to dose out. And again, like I said, we're gonna dose out 20 grams to stay as consistent as possible. So Kelly said thank you to Joe. Thank you so much for that, Kelly. It means a lot. Oh yeah, Kelly said hi to me, so say hi back. Brittany says hi. She doesn't have a mic on, so she says hi back to you. I need to get a split mic so Brittany and I can both talk to you guys while we do this video. Also, let me know in the comments below. I know I've been posting some more uh, edited videos than I have with lives. Let me know if that's something that you guys like, edited or lives, and I will try to accompany for you guys as well because obviously I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, and I really, really appreciate it. I've been working on my studio a little bit with the lighting in the background and just different kinds of stuff. So it's all 
pretty much trial and error to this point because I'm not a light light expert. I'm not a photography or I'm not a photographer, so it's gonna take some getting used to. But I'm trying to do the best I can for you guys and to give you guys the best quality content from what I have. And again, really big thank you to Kelly again for the super chat. It means a lot. All right. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining. We got Melvin. Shout out to Melvin. Uh, shout out to Dogman22, Carl, or Carla. Let's see. We have Carla. We have Justin. So big shout out to all of you guys who are tuning into the live. I really, really appreciate it. Also, when I do my workflow, I'm going to do workflow Friday. So um, my workflow is going to be on Friday mornings when I'm dead exhausted from work, but that's okay. Um, you guys can either leave me a question on the comments section below the video when it's posted, or you can also message me or comment on the, uh, the, on the thumbnail that I post on Instagram, a question that you would like me to answer, and I will answer all of your questions during the Workflow Friday. I've had a couple uh, suggestions from people that want that, so I will give you guys a question and answer for the workflows. I tried going a little ASMR style, but some people would rather um, listen to someone talk. They say it's a little awkward, so we will definitely accompany for everybody. So if you guys have a question, leave it in the comments below. I think you should choose something cool when I'm going to see And do what? Oh gosh, I'm not a dancer, huh? Yeah, you are. All right, so we got our puck nice and clean. I really, really am liking the Normcore products. They are really, really nice. Um, so before I take you guys to the shot, let me go ahead and get you guys situated here. Sorry, it's gonna take a second. Have to adjust my tripod again. This is the only bad thing about lives that's kind of embarrassing is that I have to adjust this every single time. Uh, I also want to shout out to Melvin for the $5 super sticker. It means a lot. Melvin, thank you. Thank you so much, Melvin. All right, so here seems like a good angle for you guys. So again, this is a heat exchanging machine, so Make sure all, since we already brewed, it's not gonna be as bad, but you wanna make sure all that steam is out from the brew head, brew group, because it's just way too hot to brew espresso. You don't wanna scold your espresso. All right, so again, we're gonna keep everything the same, so that way there's no, oh, well you did this, and you didn't do the same for that, and I don't like that. So, we're going to now do again, five second pre-infusion. And then we are going to ramp it up completely. All right, so right there, I mean, the shot came out 26 seconds, 40 grams, almost exactly, it was 40.2. Really nice looking shot. I mean, uh, you guys have a better view than I do, but let me know your thoughts. I know this isn't like a huge thing that, um, a huge trial, we just did one shot, but out of that one shot, what do you guys feel? Do you guys feel that the shot quality is a little bit better? Uh, do you think the donut from the too much CO2 releasing from the bean was a little bit slower? Um, let me know. Now I can tell you the nice thing about these baskets is the fact that you can pretty much clean them so much nicer. It is a lot easier to clean, but I'll show you guys the shot quality here. Just let me put this over here really quick. All right, so here is the shot quality. So really nice thick crema there and then I'm trying to get out of the habit of mixing it uh, or just stirring it around my hand instead of using these really cool brew sticks that were sent to me by Kruv. I will be giving some of these away on the channel, so make sure to stay tuned for the videos. 
so you don't miss that giveaway. I know it's not a huge giveaway, but I'm trying to do the best I can and give you guys some, uh, some freebies here coming up. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel so you guys don't miss that giveaway. Cheers. Okay, so one thing I do notice is it is a tad bit sweeter. Uh, it's not as, I mean, the other shot was not bitter. It was very, very smooth. But I really feel like this shot um, was a tad bit sweeter. Uh, you guys let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel that the shot quality was compared to the stock basket. Uh, I will be doing some more um, reviews based on different roast levels. Um, and I will also try light roast on this, on this um, basket as well. And I will also try fresh beans that weren't put in the freezer and de-thawed for a couple days too. Just so you guys get a better... Um, just so you guys get a better interpretation of the basket and whether you think it's a better suit for you guys. Like I said, this is the Espresso Brewing EMB Labs basket that we are using today. Uh, it is for 20 gram basket. Oh, and jelly. if you look, it is super fine IMS. And IMS baskets are definitely huge in the market for espresso. Right. So again, Definitely, I would say that just by looking at it from the view that I had and the sweetness in the cup is just a tad bit sweeter. We did everything the same, the grind um, down to the, the, puck, pro, uh, the puck press. Um, really, really nice. How yeah, yeah, it? I'll let you taste it. No, she doesn't like espresso. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the review that I have for you guys right now. Uh, I will be doing some more testing, but I will show you guys really quick how easy this is. Don't mind my lighting. How easy this is to clean from the actual basket. So she said, Kelly, oh, Kelly Morgan said, which, let's see, such a cute couple. Thank you so much. Uh, which do you like better, Dylan? Honestly, uh, I've, that was the first shot I've ever pulled out of that. Um, and so far, I mean, I think it worked pretty well. Uh, like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys feel. Here is the puck itself. Uh, I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but you can see a tad bit of channeling there. You can see just that uh, I probably could slow it down a tad bit. But if you see this, it is pretty dirty in here. But if you have this little tiny brush that I use on all my videos, I actually, you can buy this in any of your, like you can buy it from Walmart, Meyer, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, anywhere that you have a good store. Um, let me just show you how easy this is to clean with a brush. Because I don't like to put this back in the group head until it's pretty clean. Because I just feel like it's so much easier to clean during your weekly cleanings when you have it all clear. But if you see that, I mean, it's pretty much all clear now. And then all I do now before I do anything else is I'll just run this under the group pad. I will not lock it in, like I said, because I don't want all that to be gunked up in the shower screen. And you guys will know what I'm talking about when you do your weekly or bi-weekly or monthly cleanings. But so now you look at it, it's nice and clear everywhere. I'll even take the basket off and clean around the edge of the basket as well and also the porta filter just to keep everything nice and clean when you go ahead. It's just going to be a lot easier when you actually clean the machine and then I just like to wipe the shower screen just if there's any kind of residue from the beans and then lock it in there for the next shot. So again, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was, this video was pretty much just showing the difference between the stock baskets and also the E and B Labs, uh, Espresso Labs, to see whether the Superfine basket actually slows down or makes a difference in the shot quality and taste. Taste, like I said, uh, I hadn't done a lot of trials. This is the first one. Uh, it did give a little bit sweeter taste to the cup as opposed to the stock basket. I do think that it made the 
uh, because the beans are still releasing CO2, I did think it made the shot look a little better with the super fine. It kind of slowed it down a little bit. Um, but let me know again in the comments what you guys think. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support for the channel. Thank you so much to um, Kelly Morgan and also uh, Melvin for the super chat and super sticker. Uh, all the money and the proceeds are going to go get saved up for either giveaways for you guys, uh, new equipment. I am going to be purchasing a new grinder coming on the channel. Um, it is uh, hopefully um, the it's coming up soon. So make sure to stay tuned so you guys don't miss that video. Also, don't know when I'm going to be getting it either. So it just depends on the company as well. So again, Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. This is Barista Brittany. Hopefully you guys will be seeing more of her soon, but she is full time at work and school. So yeah, she's a busy woman. So hopefully, hopefully soon. You got talking here. Busy, busy. <laughs> so hopefully soon you guys will be seeing us do some more videos. Um, I'm trying to talk her into doing a coffee podcast with me um, in this room. But, there wouldn't uh, be a lot of talking from my end. I wouldn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, so she doesn't really know too, too much about coffee. But if you guys have any main topics that you guys would like to see us do either a live or an edited coffee podcast, uh, answering some questions, some Q&A, or I could even do some like quizzing to make sure she's keeping up or even listen to me when I'm talking because most of the time she's in here when I'm doing the lives, but she's usually on her phone doing other stuff because she don't really care that much. <laughs> so care. she'd be like honey i'll be doing a video and like she'll be whispering to me be like hey honey did you see what happened on uh on this new show that i'm watching i'm like no i don't i have no idea what's going on in that show so uh, cuckoo for coffee said good afternoon coffee addicts reporting for coffee good yes afternoon. kelly morgan said quiz so quiz. yes we'll I'll, I'll quiz her so you guys <laughs> you guys tell me the questions in the comments below when the when this video gets posted and i will quiz her to see how much she's actually been paying attention this to espresso TikTok. actually i don't watch that much TikTok. no surprisingly. she she watches a lot of like hulu and um uh, what's the other one netflix netflix i don't watch hulu that much it's netflix. yeah Man. no quiz lol <laughs> <laughs> uh did you see hoon's pre-infusion this morning yes yeah. So I am, I think I'm going to uh, mod out the Barista Express. I did move it back to the main area here so I could save room for the quick mill here. But I do think that um, the Barista Express is pretty bad when it comes to um, how much pressure you get with your shots. I mean, 14 bar pressure is a bit high and that's going to create a lot of disruption in the puck, which is going to cause a lot of channeling. Trying to... Uh, participate while cooking pizza. I oh love man, pizza. Hans, you're gonna have to uh, send me some pizza. You're, are you cook? <laughs> are you cooking a frozen pizza? Or are you making it fresh? And Linda's making chicken. Have you I ever like done a full pre-infusion on your shots? So I will do a full pre-infusion on my shots on the Fair Barista fries. Express. Mm -hmm. I can't do that with the Linea Mini, unfortunately, because it's only a paddle on and off. There is a mod, but that's way too expensive uh, unless I somehow get paid. Uh, from YouTube, a lot of money from <laughs> from all my videos that get posted. One of your videos re did reach 10,000 views. Did mm. you see that? I reached 10,000 views on one of my videos. That's yeah. nice. Making chicken here with Hans, lol. They're making me hungry. So yes, I will try. Unfortunately, with the quick mill, you can't really do an all pre-infusion shot because the pre-infusion only goes to like not even two bars, um, which I mean, you can, but that shot's gonna be forever long. I mean, that's gonna be like a two minute shot. Uh, I mean, I could try it, but not really sure. Have you modded your Breville Barista Express at all? So Cuckoo for Coffee, I have not. Uh, I, I definitely am going to. Uh, right now, I'm currently working over here. Watch out. This station right over here for my pour over. I'm also gonna be building some like shiplap wall with some shelves, but this over here is going to be uh, pretty much a whole coffee area corner for you guys, but I just built this recently um, And that's gonna be where I shoot all my pour over so more pour overs to come on the channel I know a lot of you guys don't like pour over um, 
for some reason. I love pour over, but all my views on my pour over get like 150 as opposed to like videos that are containing like espresso or edited get like a thousand or 500, just depending on. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll show you guys some more recipes. Mix it on up. Uh, don't do the dimmer mod. Apparently a lot of water gets purged or wasted. Oh. Yeah. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do the dimmer mod um, cause I don't really wanna cut into the machine and it looks kinda tacky with the little dial. Linda is most washed with the flare. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I waste a lot of water for pour over. Yeah, let's see. I'm almost at 99 subscribers, Brittany, LOL. So if you guys are, if you, you 12 people are watching, make sure to click over to Linda, uh, Linda Richter. Uh, she actually has a YouTube channel, so make sure to go check that out as well. Uh, I watch all of her videos and she supported me probably the most uh, with buying all the stuff that I have, uh, the different mods like the lid for my DF64. We do have Dylan's Some Espresso Bar gear uh, with different clothing. And then we also have the espresso wood cover scales, which are really nice. And it's got, it just sits straight onto the Kaya scale like this. Perfect there. So. She said love them all. Yeah, so really, really appreciate it. I also make them for the Kaya Pearl, which is nice. But again, thank you guys so much, Dylan. Check out Holiday Onyx Advent Special. Yeah, I did I did look at that, but that's really expensive, Hans. It? It's it's like you get is it I think it's every is it every day that you get a yeah, it's $150, but you get different beans from around the world to try and then you have to like you only get them in order, like you can't mix and match. How often do you have to spend 150? Just one time. But it's pretty yeah, 24 days. 24 days of coffee. So each day oh. you get a little test. The only problem is is I feel like you have to do, um, you almost have to do pour over because if you mess up the one, the uh, 20 grams or whatever they give you with, um, with the uh, espresso, then you're just gonna waste it. So. Oh, that's cool. Han got it as a gift from the wife. That's sweet. Yeah, that's really nice. Nice wife. Me and Dane will do t uh, tasting live. Okay, yeah, so I did, I did see that. I will watch that as well. Um, but yeah, pretty excited for that. <laughs> it is your birthday coming up. Yes, my birthday is October 26th. So we have some special plans. Um, not, we'll be back home for my birthday, but this upcoming weekend, we're actually gonna go visit somebody that, uh, that's been definitely very, very supportive of the channel. I'm not gonna say who, because I will be doing some live videos with him, but really, really excited to go meet him finally in person. So uh, if you guys can guess who that is, um, go ahead, but I'm not gonna tell you. Another October birthday, Hubby's was the 14th. Brittany, oh, good Christmas cool. gift for Dylan. Right. Dylan, you do all the uh, woodwork in your coffee setup, yes. So um, I do everything in here. So I did count on my dad a lot, for uh, building stuff, but when my dad left, he actually went to Florida. Uh, I started building everything. So pretty much everything in here I built by myself. My dad did help me with the setup in the other room with the shelves and the, the board, but I did everything in here so far and pretty much everything in our house. So really, really appreciate that. Let's see. All right, so again, um, he taught you what you know. Oh yeah, that's. A lot of times, it wasn't that I wasn't talented enough to do it, I was just afraid to pay for it and then mess up and then have to pay for more wood because I'd made the wrong cut. But when he left, I had no choice unless it wasn't gonna get done. So uh, definitely am glad because uh, I did learn a lot of stuff from watching him. So if you're watching, Dad, thank you. If He probably gets bored and doesn't watch this. I mean, this is a 34 minute video. No one's gonna watch this all the way through, uh, except for you guys, which you guys are great. What is expensive? Yeah, what is it really expensive? It's like, well, it's like two times the amount now instead of like four or 5% when COVID was first like coming out. Yeah. All right, so again, thank you guys so much. Thank you yeah. too for the, uh, for the um, super, chat? super chat and super sticker. Uh, really, really means a lot to us and really appreciate you guys' love and support. Again, there's nine of you guys watching, five likes so far. So if all you nine guys, uh, people could go ahead and click that thumbs up button, it really, really helps 
this channel grow. It helps more than you know. Um, helping this channel isn't just gifting a uh, super chat or super sticker. It's really hitting that like button because the more likes I receive on the videos, the more that the video gets posted on the YouTube algorithm and it really, really helps my channel grow so I can talk to more of you guys from around the world. So again, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully to do it soon, I will be reviewing the new IMS ENB Lab 20 gram NT basket. And this is pretty much like the super fine, but this one is more so for lighter, uh, lighter roast. So I will be using the lighter roast on this. And then I will give it a twist and do a dark roast on this and a light roast on the super fine, a twist. Oh, so definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. And until next time, peace.